fun show. Where's the... Here we go. 37 minutes. So you're the Ryu. Chuck that plasma. Hell yeah. What's she going to do to stop you from that? Oh, you could have done a crutch first there, probably. Definitely an autocorrect uppercut. Or a jump anti-air. Autocraft uppercut is the thing that you should have been looking for. What are these ants? There you go. Yes, I like this. Throw fireballs and uppercut. This is perfect. This is how you play Ryu. Against, like, every character. And it's especially effective against Laura. He's throwing a lot of... F what the fuck? Why would you do that? His punish is pretty bad. The parry? Don't just parry willy-nilly, especially against the grappler. You need a plan. That was not a very good time to do a meaty fireball, I feel like. If you get a knockdown, you should probably fix push a mix-up. Reese mix-up is okay. It's kind of okay to dodge it, though, but like Laura's reversals are not very good. Her only reversal is super, which she didn't have, or EX elbow, which only gets armor on its third frame. So she doesn't have anything she can really wake up with. I really likes his fireballs. Why, what combo? You don't need you don't need me to tell you how that was a fuck up. He didn't have the right combo there. I'm really liking your focus on anti airing and throwing fireballs. That's really good. You've got the right game plan in mind. It's just it's it's just uh untidy. Alright, left forward is good. Left forward halts um Laura's approach really well. No uppercut. Every single time Laura gets in it's a mix up. Do not let Laura in. That could have been jump strong. Unfortunate. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. No, that should have been a much bigger punish. That move is quite unsafe. It's like minus seven. Not going for any mix ups when you get the knockdown. You didn't activate V trigger either. That was like a decent round. You didn't do that badly. But like a few minor things, like wasting the super and like missing like a bigger punish opportunity. Always be ready for stand strong, low fierce. Oh, that's not even a combo that works, I think. How did you... That was daring. That's not punishable like that. Yeah, I would have done the reset there, not the super. If I was this Laura. Punish that! That's not a very good punish. If you ever see the medium elbow, you can tell because it arcs upwards instead of straight. Uh, it's quite punishable. Every time you block the elbow, go for, like, a jab. Every time it's a bit strong. Oh, no, dude, no, no. You didn't even look like you were committed to anything. Let's talk about that light elbow a little bit. Where was it? It was, like, around here somewhere. Where was it? There, that one. Um, she's... Laura has a three-frame jab. Don't get me wrong. And she has a bunch of useful, good, long-range four-frame moves. I mean, not really long-range, but, you know, good enough for jabs. And shorts. Um, that leaves her pretty much point blank and minus two. Okay. Um, and the absolute fastest thing she can do is a stand jab, which is three frames. So if you do, what's the use stand strong? It's five, right? Pretty sure it's five. If you do reversal stand strong, which is not very hard to do because of input buffering, um, the absolute fastest thing she can do is a stand jab. And it comes out three frames after she recovers, which is two frames after you recover. So five frames after she recovers. Like, like, it'll hit the same time that your stand strong hits. But a stand strong can't trade with a, a jab because medium normals in trades with light normals will just win. Um, so when you do a... If you, if you block that light elbow and do a reversal stand strong, I'm pretty sure that it'll smack literally anything that Laura does, barring like an EX elbow reversal. Um... And also, it's quite liable to get counter hits if she tries to hit something slower than a jab, or if she tries to hit anything at all. So she basically has to block after doing a light elbow. If you just rep, if you just show her that you know that stand strong is like a safe response, um, I'm pretty sure stand strong works. I'm pretty sure she can't even trade with it. But if that doesn't work, if you like fool around with it and it's not working, maybe try like stand, you know, stand jab or something like that. But I'm pretty sure stand strong works. And if you get counter hits with it, you can react pretty comfortably with like a low forward or something like that, even a crouch pierce, dare I say. Um, get a combo like that. Um, but eventually she'll realize that she has to block or like, like, you know, 
E to hit, so she'll start blocking, and probably blocking plus, like, teching, like a late tech. Um, because if you do, like, reversal throw, it'll beat anything she does again, because that's also five frames, and the only way she can get out of it is by doing a, a throw tech. Um, and the thing about that is once you get her doing blocking and delayed throws, like, you can then do, like, a slightly slower normal. Like, let's say, um, well, I don't know about Ryu, I guess, like, a non-reversal stand strong would probably be your best option. Um, that will actually counter hit her throw tech if you just delay it by a couple frames. So, like, you're in a situation after every blocked light elbow where you get to mix her up, and depending on, like, all these options are safe. A throw, a immediate stand strong, or a slightly late stand strong, all of those are safe, and one of them is going to work. So every single time you block that light elbow, you need to be ready for that mix-up scenario. And Laura's know about that mix-up scenario because they have to face it against every single character they fight. But if you know about that mix-up scenario too, then you can really punish Laura from, for going for this move, even though it's, like, theoretically a safe move. Um, it puts her into the blender afterwards against like the whole cast. And it's a mix up where she probably won't take damage, but if you're good about it, then you can make her take damage sometimes. Um, that being said, she can do EX elbow immediately after doing a light elbow. Uh, Laura's almost never do that. It requires meter, it's super risky. Um, it loses to throw if you just immediately throw her. And um, uh, I don't know, it's just it's just not a super good thing to go for. I think it even loses to like jab if you do like reversal jab. She doesn't get armor until frame three, right? So like she's minus two, and then she's got two frames of like pre, like non-armored portion of uh, EX elbow. So theoretically, a reversal jab from Ryu, which is like three frames, um, will hit her before she gets the armor. So it's not even a good option against his hits or his throws. Anyway, like you need to be ready for that every single. If she's going for her command grab after the light elbow, which is like a fucking six-frame command grab, you're not hitting a button within the eight frames after you block that. Like I. It's you shouldn't necessarily go for a punish after you block light elbow, but like you should be ready to do something, some like safe safe counter pressure. You shouldn't get command grabbed or thrown or anything like that. That was a normal throw. Also, this is a I don't know what you did here, but this is a grab and you need to neutral jump it. Neutral jump lets you come down for the full full jumping combo. Never like block Laura super. All right, the rematch. Show me what you've learned. Fireball. That's still good. Hasn't stopped being good. Laura struggles to deal with these. Yes! You have the right... You have the right... You have the right... You've got the wavelength. Whoa! That should have been a bigger punish. That was okay. It should have been a Tatsu. He could have reacted to that command grab and got something better. The forward Tatsu is a good ranged punish for Ryu. Provided the opponent isn't crouching. <gasps> that was nice. Could have been stand strong, but, you know, I like what you did. Throw beats all of Laura's reversals. And you went for the overhead too. That was much better, Oki. And then the lack of anti air is hurting you really bad right now. But, like, what you're going for. Ooh, I like this jump strong. Didn't hit though. What you're going for is theoretically really good. Ooh, that was close. Ruin a set with me. Wow, thanks. I can run a set with you tonight, even. Throw fireballs. Come on. I mean, you have to be a little careful because she's got EX elbow. But like, you know, it's not it's not that you have to be so careful that you can't throw any. You can throw EX fireballs and if she does a EX elbow, nice. No, oh, what the fuck? You did it so late. You can do it so early. That's good. Why the fireball? Why not Tatsu? Oh, I like all these uh fireballs you're throwing. Close range fireballs are really good. Oh but anyway, if you throw an EX fireball and she tries to uh EX elbow through it, it'll actually like hit her, counter hit her. Because two hits, and she only has a single hit of armor. Nice, good escape. Meaty fireball, I don't really like that. I mean, it was okay, she couldn't armor through that, because, like, super wouldn't have been in range, and EX elbow wouldn't have had armor in time. So she had to block it. So I like that, you know, if you, if you don't want to play the mix-up, that's fine. If you just want to hang back and, like, you know, get a meaty fireball going. Why is... This shit's still on the screen. There we go. It was a good towards fierce. Yeah, she's like neutral after a fireball that hits. I don't know if she's neutral. I don't know what she is. Wake up, parry. I don't really like that against a grappler. As a general, you can sweep most sweeps in return. I think it would have worked there, but don't quote me. Bigger punish. Bigger punish. That was very not good. Okay. It was a fast confirm on your part. I hope it was a confirm. 
No, oh, where's the uppercut? You would be like tied right now if you got that uppercut. You need to punish these harder. Please, low forward Tatsu. You should be looking for that. That was a good jab to contest the uh, safe elbow. Jab after blocking an elbow is pretty nice. No, lack of anti has killed you. Something like plus one. I don't know the exact number, but it's roundabout neutral. Within two frames of neutral. Wow, that was kind of lucky from him. Mm. That was good. That was a good confirm. It's a really good skill to be able to do low forward fireball and react to a successful woman super. Yeah, so are these plasmas. She can't EX elbow from that far away. He doesn't even seem like he really wants to EX elbow. You should only you should only stop your fireballs when he demonstrates both the ability and the willingness to use his anti fireball. Nice. I like the overhead. I think Ryu after a forward throw can usually get a towards fierce going. Oh, that was it! And that combo dropped. He did a non-confirm to kill you. You weren't even committed to anything. That could have been fucking any anti-air normal. Where's the crouch furious? You should have been ready for that. That was really bad. And then you were like hitting buttons instead of blocking. Because you could have killed him right here. If you were just holding down back. That's not a combo. Stand strong, crouch strong. Damn, there's a bunch of these. I haven't played this matchup that much, but I think I understand it. That's good. That's a good crouch jab. You could actually do... Um, I think you can do crouch strong. Or crouch fierce. Crouch jab is the safe... Actually, stand jab is probably the safest. You need something that you can easily hit him on either side. It's a good overhead. Yeah. You played this one pretty much correctly this round. And it's a good, good closer. It's very important to always be ready to Dalsim's ability to teleport with like an anti-air. In a perfect world, it'd be an anti-air uppercut, but that's often very difficult to do on reaction. It's good to throw fireballs after he, like, you know, to make him... If if you throw a fireball that he's fixing to land on, then it forces him to teleport. And you can potentially punish that teleport. He either has to teleport away, in which you can, like, get him closer to the corner, or he has to teleport towards, which you can punish on reaction. Huh, that was odd. Yeah, that could have been a bigger punish. You look like you pretty much got the idea down for Dalsim Ryu. Throwing fireballs is not a bad idea in this ma matchup. And you've, you're going for like punishes in the times when you should go for punishes. This guy just doesn't seem very good to keep you out. Let's skip this one. I don't like this. I, don't like, I, I want to see you against other characters. Hold on, let me see at the bottom here. Okay, you actually lose to him overall. So let's keep watching. That maybe could have been a towards fierce. I don't know if you could have punished that teleport. That was a punish. You could have gotten a bigger punish there. If you block a teleport, if you block a dive kick that high, you can hit it. Dalsim has to hit you really low. That was a good fireball. No, you shouldn't have. You should have been ready for that. That's that's exactly the scenario I'm talking about. He was gonna land on a fireball, so all you had to do was be ready for a teleport towards. And if he teleported away, you could move it on reaction. Oh, sweep it! Don't just let him fireball from point blank. I was throwing a teleport, I heard it. No, you gotta react. You led him out of the corner for that one. That was like a mistake. That was nice. I can't imagine you losing this round. He he need to land something incredible. Yeah. He looks so confident against this guy against this guy. Should have kept throwing some fireballs. Reuse fireballs really prevent Dalsim from throwing his own. You can throw a fireball at the same time as Dalsim, and you'll hit him, and he won't hit you. Like, you can recover in time to block. That EX fireball was good. A little late on the throw. They would have worked. There are a lot of fireballs that he's doing that you could just punish really easily by throwing your own. He can stay in fierce or sweep on reaction to your fireballs, but he has to be at very specific ranges. And it, watching for that opens him up to other stuff. It means he can't throw fireballs like the ones he's throwing. You have to be really aware that like your actions control Dalsim's ability to do other stuff. Hi everyone. 
in order for Dalsum to be able to reaction punish your shit, he has to go for like um Ooh, they could have anti-ed that. That was good. Make him land on firewalls. No, you should be watching for that. Shit. You should always be watching for him to teleport. When every time he jumps, he's like desperately wants to get out of the corner. It's really easy to like anti-air jab and then dash under him or like, you know, anti-air him with an uppercut or something like that. Something to punish him from trying to escape the corner. That was an okay fireball. Punish. No, I could have been a cancel. Was... Please. Crouch fears these. He always keeps his vertical height whenever he teleports. You don't have to worry about him being too high. You can just punish these teleports on reaction. Oh my god. That's good. He had to teleport there. You can uppercut that on reaction. Alright, these EX fireballs are doing hella work. Uh, that was kind of desperate. Well, that's a little dire. You can't block that. Yeah, that was good. Had to analyze the uh, arc. You did too much expecting him to block. That was like the biggest thing that kept killing you. You were waiting for him to eat the fireball, but then he didn't have to. There was a mix-up scenario. He was going to teleport to avoid landing on the fireball, and he could either teleport behind you, which you could anti on reaction, or he was going to teleport away, which would you know get him invincible long enough to dodge the fireball but let you dash in after that. But you were dashing before you confirmed that he dashed, that he teleported away. And every single time he teleported towards you and you were never ready for the anti-airs. Your, fireball your fireballs were really good in that moment. You kept on having him in scenarios where he was going to land on a fireball and he had to do one of those too. Those were good fireballs. The problem is you just you kept on not confirming that he was going to teleport. You need to be watching for that all the time when you throw fireballs. It's like if Dalsum teleported now, how would I anti-air him? That's the question you need to be asking yourself. That was nice. Why the meaty fireball? Dalsum has no reversals. Do like a meaty throw or something. That was okay. Should have been crush fierce into Tatsu or crush fierce into uppercut. I think. I think that would have been punished in time. Good fireball. From this range, there's really no downside to throwing a fireball like that unless he happens to teleport at the same time as you, which is risky for him. Mm, that could have been an uppercut. That could have been a jump strong. Very good, very good. Okay. You let him out too much. You should maybe go for like me cross ups and stuff. Yeah, that's that's it. That's what you should be doing every time. Throw a fireball, react to the fact that he could teleport, and then anti air. If you were doing that non stop every single round, you would have already won this. That one little moment was something was the way that you should always be playing this matchup. There was a time where you should have done it but didn't. The fireballs are really good. You've got a good sense for throwing Hadokens. Could have done one there. That would have been a nice time to do it. I understand why you wouldn't, though, because you did get, like, uh... Uh... Mm, you weren't ready for that, and you weren't committed to anything. Crutch Fierce, please. Just find a button. Find any button that anti airs those. I'm pretty sure Crutch Fierce would do it. Stand Jab is okay. It didn't hit there. I'm kind of surprised. Meaty Throw is pretty good, because it catches uh, Teleport away. And it forces him to tech throws, and that opens him up to other stuff. Yes, those! It was perfect. It was the perfect fireball, and you weren't doing anything else. You could have just reacted to the teleport and just anti-aired it, but you didn't. Your Hadokens are near perfect. You probably should be reversal those. It prevents the fire from coming out. It also knocks him over. Ah. Uh. Hmm. All you had to do was watch for teleports, and you would have been good enough to beat that guy. B reversal is a very good response to a, a cancel into a. Um, V trigger. According to the timestamps, you just beat this guy. I don't care. Let's watch the Zengief one. I actually lost to that Ken the first time and then beat him every other time. Okay, you probably should watch for anti airs against Geef, like non stop. It should be your main game plan. You've got three goals against Geef. One is to throw Hadokens, the other is to anti-air, the third is not to get pushed into the corner. Actually, it's anti-air, then throw Hadokens, then not get pushed into the corner. And I list them in that order because that's the order of priorities. Why no, I'd walk in like that? Should have walked in and done like low forward into EX Fireball or something like that. 
Something that he couldn't, he would have to, why not a big punish? Anytime you neutral jump, you're neutral jumping in anticipation in this matchup of a, uh, uh, of a SPD. And anytime you see an SPD happen under you, you should be ready to come down with your full jump and punish. No, how did you not jump there? You need to, anytime you see running bear, neutral jump is the response. Wait, wake up parry against Geef. Why would you do something like that? But I like the Hadoken spam. And that was a really big risk on his part to kill you. That sweep was really unsafe. Mm, I don't really like jumping in like that, but it worked for you, so. Yeah, that time it didn't. Uppercut, no. Yeah, you're in the blender every time. Why parry? Wake up with uppercut or nothing. In this matchup. Geef is scary because he can do a lot of damage really quickly. You played too much afraid of his uppercut of his uh, SPDs. You should have demonstrated the willingness to uppercut. If you uppercut just once, it makes the Zangief think that you're willing to uppercut for the rest of the match. And that's a scary thing for Zangief to deal with. You could have done a second fireball there and hit the recovery of that Stan Pierce. Okay. It worked there. But that's really vulnerable to SPD. Uppercut beats uh, towards Fierce and SPD. It makes him have to block, which lets you wake up safely if um, he tries to bait you and you don't do anything. Stop jumping in. And get bigger punishes. That was okay. In fact, it was great. Uh, the range! He didn't hit a button. That was good sense on his part. Unfortunate for you. Uh, I don't like that. What if he woke up with something else? Geef doesn't really have any wake-up options, but he could have thrown you if you did something like that. You can V-reversal that, and I would even call it a pretty good idea. Anytime after he does the pull-in, if you block it, you can do V-reversal, and it'll, it'll dodge the following mix-up and do some white damage to him. And you won't take any block damage. V-reversal is pretty good against that little Cyclone thing. The Cyclone thing is scary because it lets him combat of lights, and it lets him suck in your fireballs. Okay, I'm surprised that didn't combo. I like you taking ground. I don't understand why he's giving it up so much. That was perfect. You've got a really good sense of Hadoken Shoryuken. You've got a great basic, you've got a good fundamental basis for Ryu. You, you've got the right little, oh he got it, that's a link. Towards Fierce Reaction Super. He had counter hit and everything. Parry is very vulnerable to getting thrown. Dash in. If that was dash in throw, it would have been okay. I like that neutral jump. Neutral jump is a pretty good response in this matchup. It does a lot of stuff. It lets you anti arm pretty well. It lets you, like, it punishes jumps. Okay? This guy's got a really easy approach to shut down because he's not really, he's not walking and blocking enough. He takes to the sky too much. He's, like, too desperate. He's not anti very much either. <gasps> that parry! That got you killed! That's a whole bunch of damage you didn't need to take. Anytime Geef gets really happy with that Samurai House, you can start sweeping it on reaction. It's not very hard. It doesn't hit a crouching opponent. So, and it's got kind of a lot of recovery. He could have juggled Samurai House, I think. Be reversal that. You can dodge the mix up. It's actually pretty unsafe if he just does the pull. I'm pretty sure you recover a lot faster than he does. That's just unfortunate. Was that a crouch fierce or an overcut? You're playing the Geef matchup okay. But, um, you didn't really, you lost instances where he had really high damage, and won instances where you weren't doing much damage, which is kind of the nature of the beast with Geef. Yes, good jump. Decent combo. It could have been a you can, but what you did was okay. I like the overhead. He's near Dizzy. I would pursue it if I were you. I would go for a dash in or something. It's alright, though. I like that you didn't. Neutral jump. Yes, no. If that was the right combo, he'd be dead. Nisha's up Moran House, stand strong, low, fierce, uppercut. Mm, wow. He did the tiny pull-in. He should have done the full pull-in. He did it again. You lose the fireball invincibility when you release the pull-in. EXTP, yeah. That's a shame that that's throwable. I didn't know that. I mean, it's not throwable, but it's throwable after the initial hit ends, which was what happened there. Okay. Mm, 
you have to poke to be to I mean you can react to that and get out of the way, but poking helps you get rid of helps you avoid it. Quick stand plus backdash is very good against Geef. After a light SPD that is. He has a very hard time chasing down a quick stand backdash after a light SPD. It gives up a bit of ground, but uh dodging the follow up mix up is really nice. Not jumping there was a mistake. I really wish he'd pull out medium uppercut. He's getting so much mileage out of his meaty. He is not respecting your wake up at all. You're a character you're one of very few characters in the entire game with an invincible reversal. That's meterless. That was a good fireball. That's a bad trade, but it was still a good fireball. That was an extra good fireball. Yeah, I really like this. You're being careful with fireballs at the unsafe ranges and you're being um reckless with them at the ranges where they're safe, which is a really good combo. It's like you convince him, bad Tatsu. You convince him that uh, fireball that you're a nut with fireballs until until the moment where he ha he he really needs to jump in. I don't really like these jumps. Yeah, yeah. You were doing too much. You could have reaction punished a lot of his shit. It's really easy to hang back at the range. To like move yourself to a position where his stand, his stand, uh, fierce is gonna whiff and then punish it with sweeper or fireball. So here's a, this guy's username is that Mike Ross guy. I have some serious doubts that it's the actual Mike Ross. Hadoukens are very good in this matchup. Don't be afraid. Don't be dissuaded. See that? That's a good trade for you. You should always quick stand though. If you don't quick stand, then he can get in. With all those dashes. I'm surprised he already has V-Trigger. I guess he's, he's landing a bunch of V-Skills on you. Be careful when jumping in on Nikali. Good uppercut. Oh, you've got a poke to stop people from dashing in like that. Low strong. Low strong is the button you're not hitting at all that you should be hitting quite a lot. That was a good neutral jump and a bad combo. That's nice. Chances of success with that jump in were very low. So using it as a reset was a good um a good habit, a good idea. Uh was that a jab? It's good that you got an anti-air. Better than eating a full combo. You should be ready with your light normal combos. Crutch jab, crutch jab, light toss, crutch jab, crutch jab, hard DP, something like that. Uh you could have killed him. I'm not even joking. That would have been a borderline kill combo. You had a super and that was a dizzy. Good whiff punish. At the same time you're really lucky, because I don't believe that was reaction. Yeah, watch doing that on on a Nikali with charge. I mean, you can still do it on a Nikali with charge because he's got to predict as well. I think unless he's at very specific ranges. Ouch! This might kill you. How about that? On your life. Ugh. Focus on being f extra fundamental in these in these horrible toss-up scenarios. Not extra gimmicky. Extra gimmicky usually gets you killed. Keep throwing these fireballs. I like them. It's a good trade. You do 50, you do 60 with your fireball. His little ground pound only does 50. You've got the same amount of health as him. It's okay if he even trades. And sometimes he won't even trade. Sometimes you'll counter hit him. Also, the more he does those V-skills, the more he opens himself up to jump ins. If you can force him to do those V-skills, it's really good for you. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, like that. Contest those with fireballs. Very nice. You're playing this pretty good right now, actually. I like this. I like this a lot. Yeah, I like it. You're waiting for the, the dash punch. That's a good sense. you got some good sensibility going. You never use your V-trigger. Oh, okay, whatever. You traded your way to victory. That was still good. That's a decent Ryu got going. I don't think you need to work on too much. I think that you you have a good anticipation of what the opponent is going to do. And you have a good uh, a good idea of what reuse neutral is supposed to look like. I would say your biggest problem is that uh, um, you don't complete your combos enough. Like you'll get like a jump forward and then a crouch jab and then nothing. Like it'd be really nice if you could comp if you could turn that into a knockdown and more damage. Um, or like uh, I don't know something like that. It'd be really nice if you could if you could if you could like make every single hit turn into your max damage combo 
there's too much where you would you had bad like completion you do like low 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 forward fireball in a punish scenario where you could get like stand strong low fierce uppercut i think that's something you should be worried about you've got really uh really bad what's the word for that really bad uh is that a bar is that what a bar is i'm pretty sure that's what a bar is you've got really bad a bar let me look up fighting game terminology about it A bar refers to a character's ability to deal damage off of random hits and trades. That's not quite a bar. You just had bad damage monopolization. Damage maximizing. Yeah, and you weren't using V-Trigger or V-Reversal. You should be using one or the other. Maybe both. I would say that was a problem. 